All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. So I was going over the comments from the last video after the Leaf Cutters update. You guys had a lot of really good advice, so I appreciate that. Today, we're going to be using it. So what we're going to do is go to the missions. Now, here are the new Formicarium challenges that are going to give us access to the Leaf Cutters, because we don't really have them right now. We have the Wood Ant Nursery Tile. We have the Black Ant Nursery Tile. And we have the workers from the Formica Eruptors. So basically, if we complete these missions and then do the Formicarium Challenge 3, we're going to be able to unlock the biggest ant that we have in the game so far. So let's go to the harvest. Look at this. I love the artwork for this game. It's absolutely incredible. Ants are fascinating creatures. Okay. It looks like this is the exit to the cave. Alright, everybody dig the tunnel. So, basically, we unlock some leaf storage. Now, I've got to create some, um, refuse. Basically, garbage. So, before we go out there to get it, we need to have a little bit of a storage bay. I'm going to put it in the back, and I've learned that the refuse is basically the waste, and it poisons all but the littlest of ants, which only pop up. We can't build them. They just kind of operate in the background, so to speak. So there's actually four classes of ants. We can't- Oh, look at that big dead one. I wish we could eat it. I wish we were a little omnivorous instead of just vegetarian. We could eat meat and vegetables, <laughs> or <laughs> grass, <laughs> or leaves. <laughs> That'd be funny. Alright, so this will be the beginning of our refuse here. Now, let's get three more workers to add to us. Uh, we're kind of hemmed in at the beginning. We don't have any real Soldiers, so maybe if I build it back here, there's a lot of open ground in the back here. That, like, these little red exclamation points are enemy bugs, so we want to avoid them where at all possible. And I've got 62 food. There's like three different classes. It, it can be kind of tricky at first, like me, my first experience playing with them. But then we get up here and look at these leaves. Wait till you see how the ants eat the leaves if you're new, because it is quite. Interesting. Alright, so I'm gonna actually gonna use all of my ants available to me right now to start bringing in food. Oh, shoot! Look at this! Oh, this is the biggest ant! This is the, uh, Major. Leafcutter Major. And... Ooh, they're fighting praying mantis. Ooh, a Captain America spider. There's some bugs in the leaves that are just kind of like for thematic of, uh, feel, which I really like. Kind of builds the immersion of it. Yes, the nutritious fungus. Okay, so basically we need to start bringing in the leaves, and then they need to start turning into fungus. Then once they're done turning into fungus, they get put over here in the refuse stations, right? Now, the minims, the littlest ones, they deal with the trash. They don't get poisoned. If any other ant touches that area, they get poisoned. They don't really like it. And then after a while, we want to save up for some... Let's see... Some big soldiers. Look at these guys marching back with the leaves. So what's cool about this, though, is since there's four different sizes and we can build three, the three different sizes, small, medium, and large, they'll come back with small, medium, and large-shaped leaves back to it. So the biggest ones are the best... Uh, Fighters, and they're also the best at carrying large leaves back. So we've got, what, 18 out of 40 work? We're probably gonna want some more leaf storage here. Let's get some more workers over here. Oh, you know what it is? The problem is, um, here we go. Well, we'll leave... We don't have any group back here building. They're all out grabbing leaves, so... We obviously need some to work back at home while the others foray out while we have to dodge these spiders. This one's got the high ground. Uh, Anakin would probably charge up there, no problem. But we don't have an Anakin ant, so we can't do that. Yeah, here we go. See? So leaving some, basically, to be back here at the nest group, they're gonna produce more, um, like, egg hatching areas. Yeah, I guess it's hatching areas. It's like birthing areas? They don't- the ants don't get birthed. They get hatched. Oh! Shoot! Spider. We're in combat. So we'll-, we'll one of the workers. Yeah, that's not good. Stream agility. Who are these ants? Those are an ant we haven't seen before. They're a little bit longer and more slender. Oh, is this their nest right here? It doesn't look like a nest. Oh, look at this! Okay, so I'm in a competition. We're gonna switch these two groups now. The queen's group here to stay back with the queen in the nest. Look at how many enemies are surrounding us. Once we get some big old soldiers, we're gonna charge out. So it seems that we're in a competition with this rival woodcutting ant, or 
a leaf cutting ant nest right so we've got what we have 260 oh the goals to get to 10,000 they're almost at a thousand already they have a distinct advantage they they started with a already humming and what what a chittering we'll say ants chitter a little bit maybe I don't know a little bit. and uh, we gotta beat him so I've got to constantly dodge the Captain America spider I call him it because he looks like this almost like it's like blue with white stars and then red and white stripes I don't know, man. And then with all the Avengers stuff going on. So we'll dodge them. Now we're gonna start saving up. I wanna buy my first soldier. And I think I'm gonna put them over here. I've just gotta be careful not to dig too close. We don't wanna do what, you know, Gimli's forefathers did in the Mines of Moria. We do not want to dig too deep and unleash the orcses or whatever beasties are hiding down here. Now, I'm thinking instead of getting a media ant, the mediums, I'm going to save up and get a large. Now, they cost 150 food, the mediums cost 80, and then the leaf cutter workers cost 20. We can't make the minims, they just kind of operate in the background and which I think is an interesting effect it, it makes I like how you guys were saying that the leaf cutters require a different style of play and I'm starting to get that right now after like I I have a better understanding now they definitely do and that's what makes it a lot of fun I'm really excited to see if we get more species of ants in the future for empires of the undergrowth because if so It'd be really exciting to see the different play styles. Now, if you guys want this to become a more regular series, you know what to do. Let me know. Oh, look at this big baddie. Okay, he's done. Now, I'm going to send him out to get food right now. Because we don't need him fighting anything. Uh-oh. Hold on. Dodge the spider, boys. Look at this. They actually climb up the leaves to get them. All right, where is their big guy? Oh, my God. He's climbing up this leaf right now. He's under it. He's under this one. Look at the size of his leaf compared to, like, the workers. Alright, that's his leaf. This is the worker leaves. You see the difference here? It's like two to three times the size. So then he comes and drops it here, and then our leaf just went up uh, by a decent amount, I would say. And we're at 135 out of four. So, uh... And I think we're managing to refuse properly. Look, there's a little dead bug over here, so... And I think I might dig this way and expand this way for the refuse. Keep it above this tunnel line. Because we want to segment and isolate the refuse since it is poisonous to all but the minims. Yeah, see, look, the minims go in, drop the refuse, basically the leaves after they've made the fungus and I guess are no longer usable. The workers do have to come in here, but if you start building outwards instead of like put your first refuse here and then start building that way, they get poisoned. And the poison will slowly over time take away their health. No matter the size of the ant, outside of the minims. Workers, media, and majors all affected by it. Oh, <laughs> look at the big guy in his leaves. I love it, man. It looks like he drops a big one, and then he's either moving a little one, or he's also carrying a smaller size leaf. So I increased the number of uh, ants to kind of service around the queen's lair. I do have to be very mindful of, you know, foreign invaders here. So I think let's try to get, like, three to four big warriors, and then I can start, like, clearing the inside. So how are we doing? We're at a thousand. The enemy base up to the north here. Look at that. You can see where they're sending out theirs and they've got... These look like medias to me. They don't look like majors. Although I think I have seen some majors. But there's definitely a decent amount of workers and medias out there. Yeah, they might not have any majors actually. So it's night time here. How are we doing over here? We're gonna need to start sending like another group, but to do that I need to be able to expand out here So I'm gonna have to start fighting off some bugs here So let's actually set up control group two over here And we'll send you guys over here while continuing this 23 group of 23 to Continue getting more lead and we'll find out whatever this is now mine taunt the enemy I believe I chose that as my special ability. There's two you could either stun or taunt my thought was taunting makes them attack the big guy which, he's the tank, right? So maybe these four workers won't even get eaten. So let's go ahead and dig a tunnel to this beast. Whatever it is, we will fight it. Oh, we got this. The big guys are- look at this, look how easily it goes down. I think we lost one worker. A fearsome final form. All right, I'm gonna start setting up- look at this. I'm gonna start setting up a second group here of workers. I'm gonna send, well, let's see, this is gonna be my, what, discovery group? I actually wanna start making medias here. Now, they're very expensive with 80. We just blew through that. We're also gonna want, I think, a, 
a tertiary group of workers. Oh, wow. Look at the many. So they got the striped abdomens, which makes it easier to differentiate. If you couldn't tell from the giant head. Oh, actually, the majors also have the... Yeah, we gotta look at the head. We can't look at the butt. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. We've almost eaten all of the leaves. I'm not sure if they regrow. They probably do, but I guess in the time frame of our mission, I doubt it. We're still at about 50% the overall production of the other ants. I think the only conclusion I can come up with is that I'm going to have to fight them. So I'm thinking about sending an armored group up here at some point, like when I can afford it. We're gonna have to go for this one first, this area here. If you look on the mini map in the lower left, we started out in an area here. It's almost mostly been eaten. The one to the right is getting eaten now, so this is the future. All right, let's send the big group here up to go eat. We've got a decent amount of workers. Oh my God, look at how much leaves are coming in. So it's gonna take time for all the leaves to then turn into One fungus. The, the leaves. Young leaf Ooh. Mimic praying mantis. Well, Once in range, it's eat it. Wait. Speed. Stop eat. Stop. All right, I'm gonna have to control group two. Yeah, let's get back to fighting. Okay, so once they are fighting, looks like he's able to 1v1 this prey. No, the praying mantis has some considerable damage. Barely pulled that out. Okay, let's get back to eating, boys. Jeez, that was pretty intense. Uh oh, what's that? Now I gotta send them not- what? He's just running around? Oh god. Eat him, boys! Yeah, it's like I need like a soldier group around just to garrison, I think? Oh, that one of our majors just died. We're gonna need some more of them, I'm pretty sure. We've only got two. The leaf stores are full? Oh. Well, let's fix that. Look how many leaves are here. Maybe there's not enough ants workers take- I think that's the case. Alright, so which- this one needs to stay back in the home group and help out. S move the leaves around. I think that's problem. We, I think we have a logistics issue, which we can fix. The leaf stores are already full again. My god. But we don't have 150. It's taking its sweet time. I guess we could always upgrade them, right? So let's upgrade some tiles here. That should help. Yeah, oh yeah, increasing the capacity without taking too much surface area. Love it. I want to save up for one of these big guys, but... We're having problems managing this, so... How much of the available space is occupied by dead fungus? Do we not have the workers to send it? Or the minims? Is that the issue? Is it because we don't have enough piles? See, now we're gonna have to start... Digging out more area here for more refuse. And I'm thinking about using this tunnel back here. I gotta be careful not to dig too close over there. We don't want to dig too deep. Yeah, but see, when they get a little bit close, they'll, some of them will get poisoned, they move slower. It's not good. Okay, there we go. We have enough for a big guy. Let's get some more majors in here. Oh my god. Yeah, so they're at 5,000. We're still... They're still beating us at a pace of 2 to 1. We are going to have to go to war. Alright, that's definitely helping the situation. I can't tell for certain, but it seems like the more refuse piles, the more minims you have working them. Taking the bad fungus and putting it into the refuse and allowing us to have a much stronger economy? I dare say. I dare say. Alright, let's clear out the rest of this area. Alright. The army is mostly marshaled here. We're waiting for some of the big guys to come back. Let's send them not to get food right now. We just want them digging. And I'm going to dig from... here, actually. So, the big guys can't dig. Only workers can dig, which I guess that's fitting. So let's see how they do. We got concavity, we got surround. Oh, they're done. They are done, boys. I don't know. We may not have even lost a worker there. Alright. Where's the next one? Ooh, they're down here. Let's dig a war tunnel. Actually, we don't need to go get them. I just realized that. I don't know how big they are or who they are. We've got a pretty good access now. These guys need to be eaten. The battle has begun and we are absolutely tearing it up. I figure the further we go out, the bigger and badder the enemies will be. Alright, what is this? Oh, just two of them. Not bad. Don't worry, we will deal with them in no time. I'd like to say we've cleared out a decent- well, no. I want to get rid of this patch. And then I think we're pretty future-proof, although we need to start stepping it up. No, we're gonna- we, we have to go for the food. Alright, are there any ramps? There are ramps. I'm tempted to try for this one up here. Will we encounter any 
spiders along the way. Are they ambushing? Are, are they? They were trying to ambush us. That's exactly what he's doing. But I, I think, okay, big guys can deal with them, not a problem. We're sending our entire, like, entire force up to this upward hill. I need to go after the leaves that are closer to the enemy and deprive them of the resources and then take the ones that are closer to me, I think. I think that's what we have to do. We will, we will, inf like, take casualties, definitely, especially with how close some of these spiders are. Yeah, he's already besetting on some of these workers right now. He's ambushing them on their way back! Uh, that's, that sucks. Let's get more mediums. There are 80, though. Velvet worms and bush crickets. Look at this thing. Look at this! Our entire convoy is coming back right now. Many didn't make it. Oh my god, what is that? Did he run away? He ran away! Dude, he's... Okay, good. We scared him off. How do I overcome the adversity on the battlefield here? Oh, wow. A lot of stuff is coming out of the right side of the map here. We've... There's not too much available over there. Oh, look. We actually might start fighting enemy ants now. Maybe that's what I should do is just focus on defeating them for a little bit. I don't know how... Like, look at their... I wonder how well defended they are. It looks like there's a decent amount of medias. Gentlemen, we fight. Everybody fights tonight. Oh my god, we're getting ambushed here. There's one major just fighting off everybody right now. So we're sending everybody out to fight right now. This is- this has to be the- the moment we stem the tide, we stop the inevitability of the enemy formations taking all the resources and getting to 10,000 first. They're- they only need a little less than 2,500 left and we still need 6,000. This- this is the only way I really see it working is we are winning. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. Well, screw them! What do you say about that? I think that's what I need to do. Can I get over here, actually? Hold on. We're gonna try- well... We're gonna- we're gonna make a food run. No, we, we need the resources. So we stopped them from getting one of them. I need to do that again. I don't know how much more time we're gonna have. Look at this spider, he's like, waiting. They're so predatory, they wait. For opportune moments, the AI of these bugs is really good. And who are these guys? Where did they come from? They're like these long, dark... Oh god, he's he's eating my workers. Alright, the big boys are coming back, they're gonna... Aren't the only ants nearby. Yeah, what ants? Odontomachus bowery, trap jaws roam the clearing. Oh my god, look at this giant army! We gotta pull back, we gotta pull back now. Look at this army! We, we... Everybody has to get out right now, which is what we did at the right time. I think we ate a decent amount of it. Jeez, I don't I don't know how to win this one. Collect the most leaves. I have to beat him. Oh god. It's thorax and appendages. He's big. He just took out a major no problem. Jeez. He just eats through. Will not easily be deterred. Majors, we need to we need to pull out. We'll abandon that feeding round for now just cuz that guy is like a titan of the undergrowth. Look at the enemy. 9000 already. Maybe we should have tried to deter them earlier? Cause like, their numbers are massive. I could try attacking, but those all look like majors. Majors and mediums. That is not an army we can- we're equipped to deal with. Oh, he was ambushing us. That's what was happening. He's a freaking ambush cricket. I didn't know that that was like the biggest, baddest bug that we have right now. Okay, so here's the deal. All must be risked. If all must be risked, then all will be risked. Everyone, on the warpath. Everyone combat maneuvers. We will fight off the enemy here, then we're gonna try to... Well, I, I, I guess just grab it as much as possible. We're, we're eating them up. It's ours, by the way. Just just letting you guys know that uh, we, we're holding this. It's hard to tell who's who. They're, they're slightly bluish, we're slightly reddish. Red versus blue, it's a battle as old as time itself. And there's something big eating stuff outside of our nest. Great. He's eating our little workers who are trying to find, like, some nice, easy food. So we're just fighting. Non-stop. The war. War never changes. So, is their rate even slowed down much? It doesn't seem like it. There we go. Perfect. It's exactly what we need to do. But they're gonna... Actually, I think what we need to do now is... Head over here? Should I attack? What if I attack them? Hold on. It's... Yeah. We need to do that now. We're sending them not to get food. 
just to go forth and attack everything in their path. Maybe, I don't know if we're gonna make it, they're at 9,930? It's really the only thing I can try to do right now. Oh, we're trying to get to it. Here we go. Let's try this. Alright. Let's do it, boys. Block their, uh, attempt to get back. Oh, look, we're inside the nest! Oh my god, look at this. Look at this swirlingness to get to their queen. Let's go for the queen. It's a last-ditch effort here. Oh, there's so many ants. I don't- I don't think this is- I don't think this is working for us. But when I saw... Objectives collect the most leaves. They're yeah, they're at ten thousand and one. See, it's a race. Ooh, look at that. Hmm, that's no good. Maybe we should build less workers and more of the attackers. I think that's what we need to try next. Okay, we have a better understanding of how the economy works, and we have a full understanding on the classes. But I think I'm still using the old play style of relying too much on workers, and I think we need to change that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more Empires of the Undergrowth, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.